Hello and welcome to Better We Wednesdays, where we focus on how parents and supporters help in building dreams of our youth. Today, believers, we are talking about finances and college. So grab your drink of choice and pen and paper because you will definitely want to take notes. Let me start by saying that I am not a financial expert, I'm not a consultant, nor did I ever work in a financial aid office. The tips today are about what you need to be aware of, how to involve your child, where to find information, and a few bonus tips at the end. The cost of college is a shock to many families when it finally does arrive. So let's get started, okay? First, what you need to be aware of. You want to be. You want to meet with a financial planner. Uh, this can be someone at your bank or someone from the company that manages your retirement funds, or someone that you're already using. You need to be aware of how much you are able to budget per, for the next four years, for your, the four years in college. Also, you should know that you will be asked about your family finances. And unfortunately, this is really just the only way to determine which families are awarded need-based aid and merit-based aid. There are two types of applications for funding, so stay tuned to the end with detailed information. But the two are FAFSA for federal funding and CSS Profile for non-federal grants and scholarships. You will also want to have real conversations with your teen. Let them in on what you can afford per year and give them the reality that they may need to take out loans if they should choose a college that goes outside of that limit for you. Teach them about finances now and maybe give them a weekly budget. Okay, second, how to involve your child. If you are comfortable, I say involve them in every step of the way, including when you meet with a financial planner. Have them sit with you when you complete the FAFSA and CSS profile. And here's a huge tip for parents. I love this tip. You can pay them to research and apply to scholarships. If you paid them minimum wage in lieu of them getting a, a, a small job, it may cost you up to $300 for, let's say, 30 hours. This is a great way for them to have a job all the while doing you a great favor of saving money in the long term. I had a friend do this with his own children and he paid under $300 to each daughter. One earned $5,000 in scholarships and the other earned $6,000. That is an over 1,000% return on investment. So I think it's worth it and it teaches your, your child um, a great lesson. Okay, where, <clears throat> this is three, where can I find information? <sighs> oh, okay, so you're going to want to Google FAFSA, F-A-F-S-A, and it'll bring you to the fafsa.ed.gov website. This is the U.S. Department of Education, and your family's information that goes into this application is to be awarded, it is so that you're awarded federal fun funding, such as grants, loans, and work-study money. <clears throat> this is for students who are attending college and or career school. They give away $150 billion each year. So the deadlines are going to vary from state to state, so please ask your counselor. But the earliest I saw was Connecticut. That's due in February. Uh, California and Indiana is March, and several come in April and May, again, of your teen's senior year. The CSS profile can be found by Googling CSS profile, and it's found on the College Board website. So this application takes detailed information from each family, and it's so that you are awarded non-federal aid, such as grants and scholarships. This is used by nearly 400 colleges, and it's available beginning October 1st of your teen's senior year. I could not find a deadline, but I believe it's due before the holidays. So please be sure to check with your counselor, or even better, check with the school, the college that you're using it for. There is a fee attached to this. You will have to pay a, a, pay a fee. Finally, here are some bonus, bonus tips for you, okay? So write these down. <laughs> for both FAFSA and CSS profile they will require you to have tax um, your tax returns filed and in hand so that you can answer the questions tax returns from 2 years prior to the year your teen will enter college is necessary 
So for example, if your teen is entering college in 2018, that means that you will need to have 2016 tax returns filed and complete. Also, there are fee waivers that are available for the CSS profile. If your teen qualifies for an SAT fee waiver, they likely also uh, will, um, will be eligible for a CSS profile fee waiver. Another tip, ask your financial planner about the 529 college savings plan. Whether you have a middle school or high school teen, this is worth, lo worth looking into, and there are several tax benefits depending on your home state. Gifting. If you have family members who would like to be generous, they can give each child up to $14,000 in the annual gift uh, a year in the annual gift exclusion. And or they can contribute to that 529 college savings plan and they can get a credit too if they should qualify. Finally, life insurance. Some families have saved in cash value life insurance. If you have this, you can borrow from your cash value to use for expenses such as college. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of good information. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for tuning in today. In the comments section, write, I'm on it. If you think you'll try paying your child to research and apply for scholarships. I hope that to see some of you at the book signing in Los Angeles on June 11th, visit my Facebook page. Uh, for details and also you can go to my website to leave your information to get an invitation. Wherever you are, may you have a happy and sunny day. Bye-bye.